Hi, I'm Cecily, I'm in year 10 and I'm going to do my P3 exam on Monday and there was this one particular topic that a lot of us struggled on and as part of my revision I would like to explain that and I thought since, you know, a load of my class struggled on this maybe other people on the internet do as well. So, cyclotrons! Cyclotrons are a type of particle accelerator. They consist of two D-shaped magnetic fields with a proton in the middle. In this case, it's a proton. It could be any charged particle, because as we know, charged particles are the ones that are affected by magnetic force. Here we have some magnets, electromagnets as it happens. One and two. And those are just to keep the proton in place and not have it shooting off in all directions. There to manipulate it. Down here, or up there, but I've put my title there, we also have a high frequency alternating voltage. One moment. High frequency basic and alternating voltage basically just means that it switches. One minute this side will be positive, one minute this side will be negative, and then they'll switch. And they do that really quickly because it's high frequency. And that is connected up to either side of the cyclotron. And let's say, to begin with, this side is positive and this side is negative. Now, if you were a positively charged particle, you would be repelled by the plus because light charges repel. And you'd be attracted by the minus because opposite charges attract. So you'd want to go in this direction. But then, because it's high frequency and alternating, really quickly it would change. Like this. And so it would go round and round. And it keeps on changing, changing and changing. And the proton goes round and round, faster and faster and faster. And it's kept in place by centripetal force. Centripetal force, remember that. And it, eventually it gets to a really high momentum, really high velocity, shoots out of here. And shoots out of this tube. And at the other side of this tube, we have a stable nucleus. Here's our nice stable nucleus. You see, doesn't it look stable to you? All the right numbers of things. And this proton joins with the nucleus. And just like when you add an extra neutron to an uranium nucleus in fission, this makes it unstable. And it's actually a beta plus emitter, this one. And so it's going to go like this. It's going to emit beta plus. And we want it to emit beta plus because that's really useful for PET scans, which is what we use this for, to make the samples for that. And since they have to have a really short half-life so that you don't have a radioactive patient walking around with... Let's just wait for this motorbike to go past. Don't you love motorbikes? Um, basically, you need it, want it to emit beta plus and it has to have a really short half-life so that you don't have a radioactive patient walking around because that's not good, obviously. Um... And as a result, if you were to transport it, it would, wouldn't would survive transport. It would decay really quickly. So that's why it has to have a really short half-life, which means they have to make it in the hospital. So they have little, little small cyclotrons. You can get them about this big, or you can have them bigger. And they have those in hospitals to make the isotopes they need. And there we go. My next video will be on PET scans.